Blockchain.com and Cloud9 want to give esports fans everywhere access to crypto, the future of finance. Blockchain.com is the world's most popular way to buy, sell, and trade crypto. Visit Blockchain.com to sign up, create a free account, and level up your crypto game with the world's most popular crypto wallet. Can somebody, anybody beat me, please? I forgot what it's like to lose, bro. Somebody, please. Did Legend make me sweat? Gotcha! I'm gonna tell you guys something. You're probably not gonna believe me. I'd let Left and Forest talk me. So that next time he can take me to FD and he thinks it's a good counter pick. Alright! You believe me or you don't? This tournament shows you the importance of seeding. You saw how easy I won? No offense to the fierce competitors I beat. But it makes a difference. I also did get carried by the fact that I only had to play one matchup. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to the people. I know, we all know what it was. Beat Zane. <laughs> and all right. Bo won. Who saw the best of one? Me and Zane played a best of one this morning when I was drunk. When we decided winner is number one. I got the clutch forward smash. I was gaming, dude. I was gaming. Oh, updated rankings? I think the rankings are pretty straightforward. I think the only controversy is uh, Cody or Omsa. But I, I think you have to put Cody above Omsa. I do. Because Cody, you got to give it to Cody. It's not by a lot, and we still have one more event. All right! A no, if HBox wins LUDs, he's hard stuck fifth. I think HBox can get no higher than fifth. What do you guys think? I think... Let's kick some tail! That's it. His year's over. I think the situation right now is... All right! I think even if me and Zane lose, I think we're locked in one and two. I think me and Zane are one and two no matter what. I don't think if Cody wins, he can... Let's kick some tail! I just don't, I don't see it enough right now. Unless we get like 13 for something, but. I think me and Zane are locked in. And only I can get number one at this point. Can we understand something? That since the second right. half of 2019, I should have been number two in 2019. That means I've been a top two player for four years in a row with only one bad month. Gotcha! Only one bad month. Everyone at, that's all, for four years straight, I've been gaming. And people try to paint a narrative like I haven't been out here fucking gaming minus one month. I mean, I, I don't think main stage should count towards the rankings. I don't. And I don't think LUD should count. Everyone's going to make it count, but I feel like I feel like the year was over. But everyone's going to count it no matter what. I still stand that main stage was like not... I guess I should be thankful. I don't know. It, well, eh. It has to count. I don't think it should. Why? Because I feel like, you know, people... I don't know. Mentally, it's like you're just going through so much. Like, like I don't think everyone's in the right place to play These right guys now. Just keep now, that's me saying that. I won. So I'll take it. But I personally think, you know, it, it is what it is. Like, you know. No, Zane didn't have to be there. Everyone is. That That's how I feel. I, I don't think these tournaments should count. But... They will count, and it is what it is, and I think everyone accepts that. I'm not trying to make a campaign. No, that being said, me and Zane had a conversation today, and then when we ended it, I put the little line, Mango Zane tier, and then he put, he put little line, MZT. <laughs> we thought we were funny. And then I said, this is literally- Let's kick some tail. A meme is nep- a meme has never made more sense than every other top player would Mango Zane talk about the Mango Zane tier. True or false? When Mango Zantier gets mentioned, every, they're Squidward. Omsa, Cody, Hbox, all of them. They're all look at me and Zane. Who's SpongeBob? I think I have to be Patrick. I think I think Zane's a SpongeBob. I might be the Patrick in the situation. Okay, yes. I want to formally apologize to Leffen. I was a little mean to him this morning. I'm not gonna repeat what I said. There was some harsh things said. I wanna say I apologize. But that's how I gotta motivate him. Trust me. I I know. I do it because I love. Like, I know it, I know it gets left and fucking motivated to play. And I know the more shittier I am to him, the more he wants to play. I do it for him. That, that's all I'm saying. I just gotta, I gotta whip him into shape. I did call him worthless. And then he said, <laughs> you hate me when I win and you hate me when I lose. And I was like, yeah, but at least when you win, you have my respect. You have nothing of mine right now, Leffen. Nothing. <laughs> Imagine being ranked under Juan. Fucking Juan. Can't even. Uh, uh, okay, I didn't say I'd eat his dog. Okay, let's. We're moving on. We're we're moving on. 
No one said that. Nobody said that. Also, Cornflake, message me. He said, hey, bro. Let's kick some tail. Can you start losing a little more? It's getting really hard to make videos where you just don't drop any games. I said, I know. The narrative's getting a little boring. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's like, I'm going to have to combine your last four tournaments in order to make a good video. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Didi, what the fuck? My favorite thing in the world is that somebody called Armada the Goat on Reddit and it had like minus 99. And I think that was what made me the happiest I've been in a long time. I know you're thinking, Mango, you're the goat. You got to let it go. Because you got to understand, Adam's not around anymore. Because when he was the goat, you know how to sit here and take it? This guy. You know, every time some somebody tail. would comment like, oh, Mango's the goat. And then someone, even on Twitter or something, they'd be like, I don't see Armada. And like, you, you guys remember that. I had to live through that. Armada got degoated and vanished. So I can't like rub it in his face at all. All right. So I know, I know you're thinking, well, you know, you're petty and whatever. And I'm going to say yes. Yes. I am that petty. Because it's the only way I can get back at him. I don't have anything else. No, I'm definitely not number one now. I will say something. Let's kick some tail. My second half of the year was way better than Zane's first half. If you put them next to each other, I've been the best player These in the world for like six months. Coming. Let's be real here. My second half of the year is so good. It's just one month. And you know, if I end up two, I'm, and I won't say this often, I am very proud of myself if I end up two, which I think is a lock at this point. Not because I want to be two, but I clawed, man. I fucking clawed. Gotcha! From the depths of hell. Just everybody ripping on me. I was depressed. I had to see a therapist. The world's making fun of me. You guys remember. You guys remember. Mango was just in the slums. The problem with winning Luds, look. I, I'm gonna... I'm, a, <laughs> I'm gonna keep it a buck with you guys. A buck gotcha. fifty. I don't know if I'm winning LUDs. Now, before you say I'm John, it, uh, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear, relax. Let, hear me out. Remember, I only played three days going into main stage. I am not good at melee right now. And I know you're thinking, Mango, you just won without dropping a set. I'm still bad at melee. I, These guys just keep coming. I don't think I'm good right now. I really don't. And you take that however you want. I know how good I can be. And at Summit, you saw when I was good. You guys All saw right. what the fuck happened at Summit. I went to two Game 5s this tournament, dude. Getting sloppy, bro. I, did, I didn't play that great. You guys take it as you want. I went massive when I, want, when I needed to. But if you compare Summit and then watch this and tell me I'm not good, please tell me. Go watch Summit and then come back and tell me. Go ahead. Because I know when I'm good. And that... Come on. Gotcha. I was sloppy this tournament. But, like I said in the interview, being able to win like that in 2022 is fucking impressive, and that's why I'm proud of myself. Carried by bragging for being real? Look. Let's relax here, okay? I, wasn't, I wouldn't say I was carried. Yeah, I guess beating Leffen and Cody is carried. Yeah, sure. Okay, well, Leffen does suck ass. But Cody, come on. Cody's cracked. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Gotcha! Come on! Okay, okay. So, we got drunk yesterday. I woke up and then I got drunk again. I got drunk twice yesterday. I got drunk twice. So I'm double hungover. I didn't get to nap, so I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna stream. I will go until my, I just pass out. I'll, I might just pass out on stream today. I'm tired, but I'm like, I gotta get the celebration out of the way. Cause then I'm gonna be hungover tomorrow. Look, this is why I'm not winning LUDs. You can call me a joner, whatever you want, but this is... So, I got drunk yesterday after getting drunk Sunday. So, I've only slept, like, look at these eyes. I've slept, like, eight hours in two days, and I've just been fucking drunk. And I'm gonna get drunk again. Because I told you, I hate winning. Why? Because when I win, I justify everything. Lauren yells at me, that's it, I'm drinking a beer. The champ doesn't deserve this. Everything gets justified by drinking. These guys just keep coming. It sucks. I'm just fucking, ugh. So, tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday, right? So I probably gotcha. won't drink tomorrow, which means I have to practice Wednesday, Thursday. But keep in mind, I'm gonna be fucking hungover as shit tomorrow. I'm gonna feel awful. So I'm not gonna get any practice in this week. And then Friday's 40 Friday, birthday celebration. If you guys don't know, my birthday is on Saturday. But we're gonna celebrate it on Friday. Not because I'm trying to, you know, con you for subs. 
but it's going to be a 40 Friday birthday celebration. Just, so that means I'm going to be hungover as shit on Saturday. And then I'm going to Lud's boxing event on oh, Sunday, right. which means I'll be drunk again. And then Monday, I got to go do the podcast, which means I'll be drunk again. And then Tuesday, Lud's taking me to Lakers Celtics for my birthday. So I'll be drunk again. Do you guys see this? I have no chance. I'm going to get, where do I practice? There's nowhere for me to practice. Yeah, and then I got to get drunk on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You guys just keep coming. Because now I'm going to be riding a massive hangover. And now I'm going to have to keep drinking so I can ride the perfect high and maybe win the tournament. These guys just keep coming. Oh, my God. Why do you feel the need to get drunk all the time? Why do you jerk off? All right. Because it's awesome. What do you mean? Because it's fucking fun. I love getting drunk. I love getting gotcha. stupid. That's my pleasure. I need it. So I'm not winning LUDs. Call me a jotter, but... Oh. These guys just keep coming. I had to get so drunk, and then I gotta have so much sex. Ugh. Where do I play Melee? There's nowhere to play, dude.